We're going to make our job size four inches wide, about two inches high, about a quarter inch thick. Uh, you can pick your own zero position, yada yada. Alright, the way I figured out to do it, and I am by no means an expert, I've been playing with VCAR for maybe a month, a couple nights a week, whenever I managed to find a three minute, but anyway. Here we go. Start off by making a rectangle and I'm going to make it three inches wide by one inches high. I'm going to create that and I've got it set up with my anchor point where it's automatically centered in my workpiece. Alright, after, after I do that I'm going to create another rectangle and I am going to do it 2.5 inches by 0.75 inches. And I'm going to create that. Alright. So now I'm going to create, uh, and I'm doing this design off Gustavo Roman's uh, post. Uh, I believe that's how you say it. Forgive me if it's not. But I'm going to create a circle and I'm going to go make it the diameter of the height of the first uh, rectangle I did. And I'm actually going to make two of them, so I'm going to click create twice. And it uh, anchored them both on the same side, so I'm going to move one of them, close that out. I'm going to move one of them over, I'm going to nudge it over, shift left key arrow use the shift button until you get pretty close and then it'll yeah we're gonna say about there I actually could go in there and I could actually put the dimensions and make it perfect I think I'll do that which is gonna be about uh, 0.5 on the X and one on the Y. So that should be perfectly centered up. Close that out. I'm going to select the outer rectangular vector in the other circle. And I'm going to, right here with the little weld icon, I'm going to weld those together. I'm going to create two more circles. And I'm going to make these the diameter of the height of this rectangle which was 2.5 and let's see I'm going to anchor them and I'm just going to create two of them oops that's not right control Z uh, Point seven five. Try that. There we go. I'm going to create two of them. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to take that one and I'm going to nudge it over to the other side. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to nudge it. there I'm not trying to get real perfect on this one I'm just on this demo I'm just trying to get the point across uh, maybe help some people out you can really a lot of possibilities do your own thing with it I'm gonna take uh, these three vectors I've selected all three of them I'm gonna weld them together all right now we have an outside vector and an inside vector um, I'm gonna make a little hole right here for the key ring hook to go on and I'm gonna make it about uh, .06 and then I'm gonna close that out, I'm gonna select that I'm gonna move it And I 
accidentally made two, so I'm going to delete one of them. I'm going to delete this one. Okay, so I've got the hole for the key ring. Uh, got the uh, keychain, the outer vector, the inner vector, and now I'm going to put the text in the middle. And to keep it in there, I'm going to use the draw text within a vector box. I had the vector selected, so. And uh, I'll just try, I'll just put uh, Gustavo's last name in there. Oops, my bad. And I'm going to do it all capitals. And I like to make them bold and a little italic or italic. I'm going to apply that. Close that out, and then I'm going to take that text, and I'm going to stretch it. You want to stretch it where the top of your text is just barely above the top of this vector and the bottom of this vector. So I'm going to take it and about right there. Take it down here, about right there. Alright, uh, if you want to, you can stretch it out a little bit. Alright, and then I'm going to take that text and I'm going to convert it to curves. Alright, all my text is converted to curves. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to select this vector. And hold the shift key down and select the first letter and then go to subtract uh, subtract the second selected vector from the first and when you do that it, it makes it where your letters will weld to the this part of the uh, keychain and then you just do it for all of the letters uh, just hit shift select subtract shift select subtract just do that on all of your letters and if you happen to get off of it just come over to where you're at select that and then shift select the letter subtract all right uh, the only thing we have to do now is to make the tool pass and I've been using the well, select everything on the inside including the uh, hole for the keychain ring and I've been using the profile two path and I'm using a quarter inch material so I'm cutting all the way through quarter inch uh, using a 1 16th inch bit uh, in the middle and on the letters I like to cut them inside I'm not going to do the tabs just for demonstration purposes I'm not sure I would do them if I was actually cutting it uh, I'm going to calculate that alright and then I'm going to go back to my 2D view I'm going to select the outer vector and I'm going to do a toolpath on it a profile toolpath I'm going to do it just like I did the last one the only difference is I'm going to run this one on the outside instead of the inside uh, stay on the inside of these and the outside of these and it doesn't need all your material up and it spaces it out right at least that's the best way I found to do it and again, I am no expert at V-Card, and I am more than welcome for suggestions to make anything easier. This is a, just a quick, easy way I found to do it. They're pretty easy to whip out. Uh, when I saw uh, Gustavo's post, I thought it would be something really cool if you had a bunch of scrap material laying around. Just whip out some keychains, take them to the craft show, 
you know, there's always those people that are looking for the low dollar items. That would be a good one. At least I think. Anyway, I'm going to calculate that. And then we can preview it. Uh, I'm going to preview all tool paths. And they're cut out. I'm going to get rid of the, the waste. Double click on it and it'll take the waste out of your preview. For some reason, it did not did not give me my keyhole chain, but um, probably play around with it a little bit. This is the basic idea. Uh, you see how I've joined the letters, and the M in this one could be a little bit better. Maybe it's different text. Uh, I'm pretty small on the bit already. Uh, it's just something you play around with, you figure it out, but uh, that's the basic idea, and I hope that this helps somebody. I'm going to go ahead and go back and, uh, let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and put the keyhole in there. Normally I would do it with the letter, uh, with the letter profile cut, but I'm just going to do it separate just so I can cut it out show it but uh, uh, again I would do that on the inside calculate it oops Looks like I made my hole too small, so I'll do it on the outside and see how that comes out. Preview it. That hole's a little bit bigger than it should be. Uh, actually, it's way bigger, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, just a simple keychain. Pretty cool. Like I said, Got some scrap quarter inch laying around, whip some out, take them to the craft show with you, make a few extra dollars on something real easy. Uh, I think um, this one's showing like nine minute cut. I, I, I could probably tweak out the tweak the. Uh, settings a little more. I think the one I figured out the other day was about seven minutes a piece. So quick, easy, you know, something to use your scrap on. Uh, I hope this helps somebody out. Uh, I know uh, Gustavo was uh, making some really nice ones, but he was going the hard way about it using a, a scroll uh, generator a generator for scroll cutting and then he was converting it and then putting it into easel he was <laughs> quite a few steps but uh, I hope this helped uh, especially uh, you mr. Roman since you uh, put the post up uh, and put the idea in my head and uh, Hope somebody gets something out of it. Thank you.